There is a reaction from the entire planet the minute ignition occurs inside of a fighter jet. Air undergoes compression. Metal becomes more constrictive. Fuel detonates into a force that can be controlled. Pressure can be created by sound. Movement is the result of pressure. On the other hand, movement is power. At this point, the Saab JIS-39 Gripen E begins its journey through the world. On the runway, not at all, never in the clouds, but it is located deep within its body, in the heart that is the source of its existence. For the engine, it is the secret fire that determines how quickly it ascends, how hard it spins, how far it reaches, and whether or not it survives the moment when everything is on the line. A Gripen E is not a very large aircraft. It was not designed to be a size that would impress. The ability to impress with intelligence is inherent into it. Designed with a specific purpose in mind, it is light and sharp. Its entire body is organized according to its functions. Every system that is included within it is positioned for speed, access, and protection. In addition, the most important component of the airplane is a robust engine that has been proven in combat. In the present moment, the engine in question is the General Electric F-414GC, made in the United States. Trustworthy. Powerful. Developed with the intention of bringing contemporary fighter aircraft into the realm of supersonic performance while maintaining their efficiency and ease of control. The f fly 414 is not a victim of heart failure. It is widely regarded as one of the most prestigious engines in the aviation industry. Durability and responsive control are two of its most notable characteristics. It was constructed after decades of research and operational expertise. The engine responds without any hesitation whenever the pilot presses the throttle forward. The Gripen is capable of climbing with a high degree of aggression, breaking through dense air and pushing beyond the sound barrier with self-assurance. Rapid acceleration, rapid regaining of speed after abrupt turns, and the ability to carry a full load of weaponry without becoming heavy or slow are all capabilities that it possesses. In some circumstances, this engine is responsible for the Gripen's supercruise capability, which enables the aircraft to travel at supersonic speeds without the need for afterburners to be continuously used. The result is a reduction in fuel consumption, reduction in heat signature, and an increase in combat time. This is more important than raw top speed when it comes to the conditions of actual battle. The aircraft will be able to continue in the combat for a longer period of time, while staying more difficult to identify. It is an ideal combination in terms of the performance that it provides. This is despite the fact that it conceals a chain. As a result of the F414G's origin in the United States, it is subject to domestic export regulations. The ITAR comes into play at this point. International Traffic and Arms Regulations with the use of these regulations, the government of the United States is able to monitor, sanction, or prevent the export of any military product that has components made in the United States. Despite the fact that the remainder of the aircraft is Swedish, even if it was constructed, tested, and even owned by someone else. Because of the presence of that single engine, the United States has legal authority over the areas in which the Gripen can or cannot travel. Despite this, the engine is not in poor condition. It denotes that it is powerful in a variety of different methods, not only in terms of emphasis, but also in policy. A great number of nations are quite concerned about this matter. A fighter jet is not just about speed and armaments when it comes to purchasing one. The issue at hand is sovereignty. The issue is one of control. This pertains to the exclusive right to determine the manner in which the aircraft is utilized, improved, or resold. As long as another government has control of the remote control, no nation is willing to spend billions of dollars on a crucial defense system. It is at this point that the concept of changing the engine begins to take shape. Engineers and strategists from Europe started pondering the possibility of a future in which the Gripen E could be powered by an engine imported from Europe, as opposed to one that is not bound by American regulations. That would grant Sweden and its customers complete autonomy in all aspects of their lives. At that point, the focus shifted to Rolls-Royce and the Eurojet family of aircraft. Already in operation, the Eurofighter Typhoon is powered by the Eurojet EJ-200. For its size, it is incredibly powerful, in addition to being quick, efficient, and compact. The thrust-to-weight ratio is regarded to be excellent, 
and it is known for having a low fuel consumption in comparison to its output. The concept that underpins the EJ230 that has been proposed is modest, but ambitious. Consider all of the positive aspects of the EJ200. Make it more robust, make it better, boost its forward momentum, enhance the effectiveness of it. In addition, mold it so that it can fit inside the grip and airframe. On paper, the EJ230 is a really amazing piece of equipment. Depending on the configuration, its thrust range is estimated to be between 102 and 120 kilo newtons in advanced arrangements. If this is the case, then it has the potential to match or perhaps surpass the performance of the F414G. When there is more thrust, acceleration is improved. An increase in acceleration results in an increase in survivability. Having a higher survivorship rate confers dominance. Better performance at high altitude, improved vertical maneuverability, increased flexibility in fighting options, and increased range are all benefits that come with increased power, especially when combined with effective fuel management. Energy is life in the contemporary system of air combat. Those who possess a greater amount of energy in the sky have more choices. Another significant benefit is associated with the engine technology that is used in Europe. The vectoring of drives. The aircraft is able to undertake extreme maneuvers at low speeds, where traditional control surfaces lose their effectiveness. This is made possible by altering the direction in which the exhaust is directed. This makes it possible to make tighter maneuvers, recover from stalls more quickly, and strike from odd angles which might startle an opponent while they are engaged in close-range battle. With this kind of system, the Gripen has the potential to become one of the most nimble fighters in the world, punching ahead of its generation category in terms of offensive capabilities. In the future, it would no longer be only a clever fighter of the 4.5 generation. It was going to develop into a one-of-a-kind combination of intelligence, control, and unbridled mechanical supremacy. Furthermore, there is something that is even more influential than performance. Liberation. A completely European engine does not require an ITAR. Upgrades do not require consent from a foreign ministry. There are no restrictions placed on exports from other countries. No digital locks that are controlled by a government from another country. Countries who use the Gripen have the ability to change their systems, update their software, integrate their own weaponry, and manage their own supply chain without having to wait for authorization. This is not merely independence from technical aspects. Strategic independence is what we have here. The significance of this cannot be overstated for nations who are concerned with the protection of enormous territory, cold environments, coasts, and remote locations. Countries such as Canada, for instance, require an aeroplane that can be operated according to their own principles, can function with a small amount of infrastructure, and can endure harsh atmospheric conditions. That is precisely the kind of environment that the Gripen was intended to operate in. Roads that are frozen, runways that are rather short, locations that are remote, very few maintenance staff available, prompt in its response. Adding a European engine to that base makes it much more appealing to potential buyers. Not merely capable, but supremely independent. And right now, in the middle of this story, if you enjoy hearing the true story behind military technology, strategy, and power, then consider pausing for a moment and supporting the channel. If you value this level of comprehensive dissection, then you should support the channel. Fork over the like button. The video is able to go further as a result. It conveys to the algorithm that the material in question is significant. Additionally, it assists in delivering more in-depth and factual news directly to you. At this point, it is essential to have a complete comprehension of the reality of an engine change. Making a replacement for a jet engine is not a straightforward process. The engineering has undergone a significant alteration. To determine the differences in airflow, air intakes need to be monitored. For cooling systems to be able to withstand diverse heat patterns, they need to be rebuilt. Adjustments or reinforcements need to be made to the structural support points. It will be necessary to rewrite the software for the flight computer in order to comprehend the behavior of the new engine. The calculation of the weight distribution throughout the frame needs to be redone. Keeping the airplane in perfect balance is essential, otherwise it will become unstable. Work in engineering would be required for a number of years. Ground tests that lasted for thousands of hours, 
flight experiments that lasted for hundreds of hours. All possible outcomes need to be investigated. Extensive elevation. At a low altitude, air that is hot. The air is chilly. Turns that are difficult. The weapons are loaded, there are no weapons. The conditions of an emergency failure. There is no room for error in this plan. This comes at a significant financial expense. At least a few hundred million dollars and possibly even more. Moreover, time is a cost as well. It is possible that production will slow down while a new engine integration can be developed. The potential for export opportunities may be postponed. As a result, the F414G is still in its current position. It has been demonstrated, it is harmless, it is common knowledge. The core conundrum is as follows, independence against dependability in general, freedom against stability, a contrast. However, history demonstrates that technological advancements always lead to more autonomy. The path towards independence, with the goal of control. The Gripen was conceived of because of this mentality. Sweden was adamant about not relying on other nations for its continued existence. It was able to construct its own aircraft, developed its own internal systems. The creation of a fighter that could be maintained by a small team in the middle of nowhere was accomplished, fueled up, exhausted. The launch has begun. Within a span of 20 minutes or less, in no way is it intended to be luxurious. It was created with protection in mind. That identity would be strengthened by the advent of a new European engine. The Gripen would become a true icon of modern autonomous air power as a result of this proposal. A platform that nation states of a smaller or medium size could rely on without any political constraints linked to it. Due to this reason, the concept is not going away. It is still being investigated by engineers, Analysts are still debating the matter over. Analysis of it is still being done by strategists. Steel and turbines are only two components of the propulsion system of a fighter jet. There is a statement here. This reveals who is in charge of the skies, that is, who is dependent on who. At this very moment, the Gripen E is flying with a heart that is American, an unbreakable will, a heart that can be relied upon. On the other hand, it might become European in the future, a heart that was designed for escape. A heart that was designed to be independent. The pilot and the nation that it serves are the only people to whom the heart would answer. When it comes to the Rolls-Royce engine concept for the Saab GIS-39 Gripen E, this particular statement is accurate. More than just horsepower is at play here. The issue at hand is sovereignty. Control that is strategic is at issue here. The next stage in the development of air power is the subject of this discussion. The realm of military aviation is undergoing rapid transformation. It is not always the case that larger is better. It is not always the case that more expensive means stronger. Those that are in charge of their own technologies will be the ones who rule the future. And if it were equipped with the appropriate engine, the Gripen has the potential to become one of the most potent emblems of that future. Make sure that you give the channel your support right now if you found that this article helped you gain a better understanding of the real forces that are creating modern military technology. Appreciate the video. Sign up for the channel's channel. Additionally, make sure to remain connected for additional content that is in-depth, factual, and documentary style, revealing the truth about the most advanced machines in the world.